We're now learning more about one of the victims of Sunday's deadly helicopter crash as the medical examiner's office confirms the cause of death. Fox 26's Jonathan Mejia is live in East Downtown where he spoke with a friend of that victim. Jonathan. Yeah, that victim's name is Cesar Lerma. I was told he was a father of three, very detail-oriented men. He was also very skilled at remodeling kitchens and bathrooms. He was just, just really a very a, a prince of a guy, very soft-spoken. But his attention to detail was unbelievable. That's how Garrett Kaufman is remembering his friend Cesar Lerma. He's one of the four victims who died in the helicopter crash in the second ward Sunday evening. I was taken back by how short life is, how is how you know I know he loved his boys, and uh, I, I just can't imagine. Uh, you know, we I don't, when people say you know how you feel, you don't. So I just say. You know, just I can't imagine what his family's going through right now. He was a loving father of three boys. That love was what led him to book a tour of the city on a helicopter. His youngest son wanted to ride a helicopter. His parents decided to grant him that wish. Kaufman confirmed that information after speaking with Lerma's older son this morning. And they took him on, on his helicopter ride. I guess it was going to be a tour of Houston is what I understand. Video of the helicopter crashing into the tower made rounds on social media. However, Kaufman refrained himself from seeing the video until today. My prayers are answered. It was painless. You know, we can't ask God why. We, we don't have that ability or power. All we can do is pray for their souls. Fox 26 spoke with Lerma's son over the phone, and while he didn't want to talk on camera, he tells me his father was one of a kind, and when the time comes, he will speak on the death of his father, brother, and his stepmother. And it ended tragically for everybody. Rest in peace, Caesar. You'll be missed. Relatives were at the crash scene earlier today. They told me that one thing remained intact, and that was the woman's purse and cell phone. Authorities were able to get into the cell phone, and the last two images were one of the family before they got onto the helicopter and the child of taking that selfie inside of that helicopter. I'm reporting live in East Downtown, Jonathan Mejia, Fox 26 News.